This is Masaki, um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about basically how to um, get free loot from the vault of the immortals at the end of the week. This video is more for immortals, so if you're shadow, uh, this is not applicable to you, but it's still good to learn the system in case once you become immortal, you'll understand how this works. Okay, so before we get to the system and all the strategy behind that, um, I'm just going to cover some basics so everyone's on the same starting point. Um, essentially every week there is a ranking among all the immortals. So first of all, immortals is kind of like three clans merged into one gigantic clan, if you will, called the Alliance or something. Um, so as an example here, our, our immortals clan Alliance has, um, 253 members out of a total of 300, right? So that's just how you can tell, uh, what this looks like. Again, merge of three, uh, three clans. And then all the immortals are ranked every week based on what we call prestige. So prestige is just some uh, sort of like reward you earn from uh, doing your dailies, from doing a couple of different things. And those then are counted as contribution. These are all just words. They don't really mean too much, but just bear with me so far. Okay. So you earn uh, contribution from your daily events, from defending the vault and from contribution, which is kind of like donating uh, sigils to the immortals. And when you donate sigils, it does give boost the immortals level, but it also um, gives you prestige. Okay, so that's pretty much how that works. Um, okay, so what can you get, or what, what are the maxes for prestige? Uh, when you defend vault, um, you get a variable prestige. If you fail the defense, meaning your team dies, you get zero prestige, or contribution um and if you defeat a full team i think you could get a possible uh i think the highest i've seen is 35 but 30 is pretty common if you defeat a team of four on level four and basically uh, the prestige or the contribution you gain from defending the vault is highly dependent on how much like hilts you're you're kind of collecting from the enemy so the more hilts you collect uh, on that defense the more prestige you're going to get for the defense so like, for example, if you kill only one person, but it's on level four, I think you get like five or 10 prestige, you're not going to get a full 30. So it's pretty variable. And depending on the system that you're using for vault defense, you really have no choice in like picking, like, I don't know, a larger team to get more prestige or a contribution. It's just more for farming for that. Um, so that's the vault. And as far as dailies go, all of these daily quests here will give you uh, both sigils right, which you can donate for prestige, and also prestige, right, this again, increases your ranking, I don't know why they keep changing terms, but um, anyways, prestige contribution, I pretty much use it uh, interchangeably. To check your actual rank, right, this is really important, is if you open up the immortal menu and look at this thing where it says on the right side, weekly status, um, and it says prestige, weekly prestige 19, that means you're in rank 19 in your contribution, among all members of the, the alliance. So another way to do that is if you go to members, sort by contribution descending, and then you can kind of scroll through and see where you are, right, prestige-wise. Um, and then how much further, I guess, you can go higher if, you know, if you gain 20 points, are you going up by one rank, two rank, three ranks, whatever. So <clears throat> why do the ranks matter? The ranks are uh, basically for determining the reward at the end of the week for the vault. So pretty important here, if you open up um, strategy, go to the vault, and you click on this little eye icon here, it'll tell you how the immortal vault works. But basically at the end of the week, right, uh, that's going to be Sunday night, Monday morning, 3 a.m. is when the reset happens. When the reset happens, basically depending on your rank and depending on uh, your, your reserved items, you'll get a certain set of items from the vault. So... The, the hilts and the gold are kind of like just evenly divided across. It's going to give a little bit more for higher ranking, uh, a little less for lower ranking. But the important things are going to be the uh, items. So here's what you, you need to be pay some close attention, right? Players ranking through one through three will get at most three items. Player four to 20 will get at most two items. And player ranking 21 below will get at most one item, right? And when they say item, they mean these legendaries, 
inside the vault or right? legendaries and rares there's a bunch of it's a mix of things right but <clears throat> you can see there's pages and pages of this stuff in the immortal vault this is what the immortals have gathered over um you know the previous week running elder rifts etc and of course you can sort this by your class so you can see uh, items just for your class you can also further sort down to you know for example whatever you need for your upgrade so if i want to only look at demon hunter shoulders here i can look at all those uh four that would be applicable to me and i can use so as an example here's one that's like really really good and you can see there's a ton of requests right okay so let's you know without further ado let's talk about the request system how this works okay so each immortal can reserve up to three items what that means is that basically every week you can request up to three items so i'll just as an example click here request you can click here request this item and request this item again i'm not specifically saying these are the three i want um, but i'm just using this as an example right and you can of course cancel your request too so you don't have you could you you don't have to stick with that request uh, and it, you can adjust um, <clears throat> There is no limit to how many immortals can request for the same item. So as you can see here, even though I think a lot of people miss this, but when they look through here, they think only three people request this item. But in fact, there's actually four, right? And if I request here, then I become a fifth. So you can see I'm there along with these other four guys here. Um, the reservation does also have a priority order. So notice when I request that, it has a one tag on it. If I request this item, it has a two tag. And then of course this one, here we'll have a three. What the priority means is that you're telling the game, um, kind of like think of the drafting system where this is my first, second, third pick. Okay, this will be very important to understanding how the system works and why or why not, why you're not getting the items that you want. Okay, um, so the short of the the game, you know, basically, uh, basically the short of it is this: the game will go down the list and by rank grant the first request to everybody, right? So as an example, so we'll use this item here as an example here, this one that's requested by five, four people, right? Pumpkin, Shooter, Confirm, and Inovus. So if you go to Members and you sort contribution down, you can see who it will get this item if we all have this item as our first pick. This is very important. So as you can see, there's nobody above me from that list here. So likely I'm going to be the person who gets this item, as you can see, right? But let's say I'm not the person that selected this thing, then <clears throat> this item would actually go to, um, let's see, I have to keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, are these guys all just not, okay, confirm, yeah. So confirm has 510 contribution. So he probably will be the first person to get this item, right? If I'm not requesting for this item. Um, that's the number, that's the first thing to note about this, right? So the short of it is, each week, let's say if we all request this and everybody who's on this list here requests this as our first choice, then I will get this item. If I don't request for this, then confirm will get this item and vice versa. It's just It goes down the list, whoever the rank, the top rank for it and the top priority, both, that's when you get the item. Okay. Um, now, number two is this. If, um, if it comes down to basically, I think the, the first confusion that we had last week was a lot of people were saying, hey, I'm higher rank, how come I didn't get that item? And likely, it's because you didn't request that item as your first choice. You may have requested it as a second choice. So then what happens is, if you request an item and it's your second choice, so here's a good example. Let's say I request this item as my first, and I request this item here, uh, where is it, this one, as my second, right? Now you can see... Uh, DPS is requesting this item as something. We don't know what his number is. But if he's requesting this as his first, I would actually never get this item. And the reason for that is because this is my second choice. So going down the list, he's the only one who wants this item. He's going to get this item because on the first pick, I'm getting this item. And so when second picks comes through, this item is already gone. So I will never get this actual item. That's basically how that part works. <clears throat> yeah, so... So just understand first, it's not just about your rank, it's also about the, your choice, your first, second, third choice. So you have to be very strategic about that. And the other thing is you don't know what other players are picking for their number one and two and three. So that further complicates this whole entire request system. Okay, so so far I hope that really, that makes a lot of sense for you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so basically if you're reserving items, the strategy is look through the list, understand where you are in the, the request tree, 
and understand like what is your basically top pick. So only give your first choice as request to the top pick, the, the one item that you really want and you are likely to get. So if you see a bunch of people who are above you, then don't pick that item. Because if you pick, you're picking that item, you're likely not gonna get it as those other players could have chosen it as their first pick. Now, you still run a chance of potentially getting it because there are some cases where that player might have, or maybe all the players on that list have chosen that item as their second choice, even though they're all higher ranking than you. What then will happen is that you'll actually get the item because it's your first pick. So that's kind of how that works. So make sure you use your first pick as the one that's choosing the one real item you really, really want. And honestly, for players that are lower than rank 20, you don't even have to really worry about this because if you're lower than rank 20, you're not gonna get two items anyways. You're only gonna get one item. Uh, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit too. You're only gonna get one request. There, there are cases where you can still get more than one item, but that's a different topic. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, that's pretty much the overall strategy. Um, if you can work it out with other for example, demon hunters in your alliance, the better. Like you can maybe talk to all of them and say, hey, by the way, I'm requesting this shoulder. Please just give it to me. Uh, and you could request something else. I won't fight you over that. So you can maybe do some horse trading and then be able to actually get everybody something that they really want. Um, because the worst thing that could happen with a vault is at the end of the week, you get an item for a different class that you can't even use. Um, that will pretty much be the worst case, and in that case, you're kind of stuck. So you just have to, I guess, salvage it or uh, potentially save it for a class change or something. Okay, um, now if you didn't get any of your picks, right? So if you go through the list and you didn't get your first, you didn't get your second, you didn't get your third picks, then the game will randomly give you a pity item. So this is going to just be a random item, so it's going to suck. So I would say... Um, Definitely try to make sure you're you're gonna get your first pick and not potentially one item that you're not gonna be able to use. So I think a lot of players last week um, got items that they didn't want and they didn't understand why. And the reason is because they probably uh, were fighting over items that other people had higher ranks on. And by the time that their items got picked, um, their second, third choices were gone too because likely those would have been first choices from some other players. And so those players, even though they're lower rank, would have actually gotten that item anyways. Cool. Um, the rest of the items are also just randomly distributed. So um, yeah, so basically towards the end, then um, you can kind of read through this menu, but uh, basically, you know, there are also cases where I guess the shadows could uh, steal the items. So that's something to factor. But basically at the end, if you didn't get an item, you're gonna get a random item. So that's just how that works. Um, yeah, so just remember that not everybody's gonna get their three requests but you should make them anyways. And um, there are cases where, you know, if even if your first request didn't go through, you might still get your second request, which will be pretty good too. Okay, so what are some strategies that I like using for picking? Okay, go through the list, right, in the beginning. Of, so like basically you can start doing this on Tuesday once all the items are gained in the vault. Remember, items are placed into the vault on Mondays only, so on Tuesday, all the items are locked. You can only lose items, like this one is stolen by the shadows. Um, so you don't have to worry about that one anymore. But look through the items and pick the items that you think are you know, what you want. So you have an understanding of those. You can even put a request in because you can cancel that later um, if that's not the one you want. Okay. Um, take a look at who's choosing them. So for example, look through the list, understand other people's ranks, make sure you understand if this is gonna be their first, second, third choice. That way it's just gonna make it a lot easier when you pick the items, you're gonna get the actual item you need. What I tend to always do here is I go through my list of items here and I say which ones are gonna be like in need of upgrades, right? Um, and in general, I mean, if you don't know this by now, but like if you look through the list here, um, the one that you need upgrades usually are gonna be the uh, lowest combined attributes. So you see these two attributes put together, I'm gonna to get like 290. Uh, in general, you want an item that has higher attributes than what you have here. So that's basically how you should go through and pick which items you actually want as your priorities. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> if you're competing with uh, the same person for the same item, so this could happen too. Uh, let's see if I go back to the menu here. <coughs> so let's say I go back to the vault, I go to my class, and let's say I'm going to like, I think main hand is what everyone wants, right? So let's say you have an item where, for example, like you see this one, everybody wants this item. Let's say I'm competing with confirmed 
uh, kill on this item and a couple other different items. We're all competing for the same items. Both uh, probably his rank one, two, and three are my, uh, are the same as my one, two, three choices. Then you could actually run a risk of not getting any of the items. And let's pretend, right, for this example that uh, he and I are pretty close and not, we're both rank one through three. So we're both expected to have three items. But essentially, if you uh, pick three items of someone else is picking, you could essentially not get any of them. And just for the simple reason that, um, well, he could have his first pick above your, and let's say he's higher ranked than you. His first pick is your first pick. His second is your second and third is your third. Then he would get all three of his items and you would get nothing. Again, assuming case where there's no one else fighting over these items at all, right? So just there's two of you. Um, so that could be a pretty bad situation for you. So I would not try to fight over somebody for th all three items. Now, that's this is an unlikely situation, and there are many other people who factor into the picking. So um, that could make it really, really difficult. But uh, that is that is a possible situation. So I wouldn't compete with the same person. Um, yeah. And, and the, the, turn this around a little bit, too. You can compete with any one person, right, and be guaranteed your first item. But if you're competing with that same person, um, you also run the risk of losing your second and third item. Here's why. Let's say their first pick is your second pick, and their second pick is your third pick. Well, every time you go through the list, you get your first pick, they get their first pick. But when we go through our second picks, you don't have your second pick anymore because they took it. So you get a random item, and they get their second pick because that's the one they have, and you're, you only have that item reserved as a third pick. So having higher rank and fighting over another person could actually make you um, lose some items here. So be careful about how you do these picks. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, again, like don't pick, so if you're lower rank, don't pick any items that have a ton of people picking them, especially if these people are above you in rank. Um, you can try, if you want, pick an item that's kind of like second best, third best as your first pick, right? So here's a good example of that. So this item is requested by a lot of people, probably like a really, really good one. Let's see if we have anything in this list that's like, also pretty comparable, like this one here, right? It's a pretty good item, actually, pretty decent, for almost 400 stat points. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here that's like amazing. Okay, so maybe all the main hand is like not as good. Okay, here's another good one, right? So between this, so I would say like this is your, where is it, this one? First pick, uh, second pick, and third pick, like this, right? Or second best, third best. If you really want this third best item, I would pick this as your first choice because likely even if somebody else picks this, they're not going to set this as their first choice. They're probably going to go for this, which means that when the first choice goes through, you get this item guaranteed almost, right? So there's there's strategies like this that you can do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, cool. So anyway, so basically that's how it works. If you are the highest rank, rank one, you know guaranteed your first pick is gonna be good. So that's pretty much fine. Honestly, if you're rank one on your list, like if I'm rank one up against all these people, then I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed this item, which is good. So you're always almost guaranteed one item, but you have to be kind of strategic for your second pick. So if you're pretty high ranking, here's what I would do, right? I would pick this as my first pick, and then I would not pick like, um, I would not pick like another super chase after like the shoulders, for example, I wouldn't then pick this as my second pick because likely one of these guys has this as their first. What I would do instead is I would say, okay, look at this one. Nobody's picking this, right? Or pick some like, kind of like this one maybe is a decent shoulder. It's not great, right? But it's better than maybe what I have right now. And that's what you pick as your second pick. So that's the strategy you should be running. Um, for your second pick, don't be too greedy. Don't pick the best one for your second. Pick like a, a low tier, like a tier three, a rank, like a third rank shoulder type of thing, right, for, for your second pick. Now, you can be greedy and you could actually win, but it's less likely for that. Cool. Um, there are more strategies that um, I'm just not going to put in this video for the purpose of, you know, making sure that people who know these things, they don't, uh, they can protect their, like, gains, I guess. <laughs> so I won't, I won't talk about them. But, you know, you're free to, uh, you know, leave a comment in the box below and tell me what, about what those strategies, if you guys figure it out, you know, I might give you a, I might give you a thumbs up or something uh, to tell you that, yep, you got it. Anyways, yeah, leave those in the comments. I will read them and uh, I'll let you know if you're on the right path. 
Anyways, this is Masaki. Um, wishing you good luck being immortal with your vault and uh, stay classy. See ya. Oh, and uh, before I forget, <laughs> so I did want to show off what I got last week. So I was able to get this um, offhand last week along with this pants last week because of the way I was picking. So just some things you can think about um, with your picks. Anyways, uh, again, good luck. See ya next time. Stay classy. Not a word that you say can save this. So don't try. Cause this time you crossed it.